the tiger, it's the thrill of the fight. Oh wait, that's a different tiger. Hey everybody, it's nice and toasty warm outside today. It's probably 90 degrees. Got some new ammo to try. We've got Golden Tiger, 223 Remington, 55 grain FMJ. Picked these up from SG Ammo. We're gonna see what kind of velocities we get in our 10 inch, 16 inch, and 20 inch barrel. I've already read a lot of reports online that the primers in these are causing a lot of failure to fires. SG Ammo is already purchasing these back and contacting the manufacturer. So we have three different rifle types. We've got a AK and 5.56. We've got a 16 inch stag with a aftermarket trigger and then we've got the 20 inch with a standard AR trigger in it. So we'll see if we get ignition on these. Pro Chrono Pal Chrono as always. Up first as always is our 10 inch M85 Pat. Twenty five ninety four, twenty five sixty four. Didn't read on that one. There's a dud. Twenty five ninety four. Now our sixteen inch stag. This is a hyperfire twenty four C trigger in it. Twenty nine seventy six, twenty nine eighty two. Those are more failures to fire. And now our twenty inch AR with a standard AR trigger. No fire. No fire again. No fire. No fire. Thirty sixteen. We'll just see if we can get a string of five to go off. We'll just keep going through them until we get five. Twenty nine sixty nine. Twenty nine sixty nine again. Twenty nine forty three. Twenty nine fifty six. Twenty nine forty nine. And the same with the 20 inch barrel. 30, 86. 30, 44. 30, 72. Here's all the rounds that didn't go off. That's not encouraging. Although, like I said, the reports say that this is apparently a known issue and then even some of the Golden Tiger 762 by 39 exhibits the same issue with the newer lots. This one, there's barely even a dent in the primer. There's just a little tiny mark. The other ones have fairly large dents in them, so I'm not sure Primers are bad, or if they're just hard, or what the deal is. Let's see if all these will go off in the M85. So I loaded up all the ones that didn't go off, and we're going to see if they go off in the M85, since we seem to get 100% fire rate on that.
Much less failure rate there, but we still had one not go off. Well, there you guys have it. Those are decently respectable velocities. However, the failure rate is through the roof on these. The good news is, if you are having issues with this ammunition, Sam from SG Ammo will gladly take this back. He's going to contact the manufacturer and see what the deal is. As always, thanks again for watching, everybody. Hopefully, maybe the next lot that we get for this will be a lot better. Take it easy.